Hello friends, I would like to thank you all for the kind of love and support you have given to the introductory video. I welcome you all to the first chapter of level A1, which is considered as the foundation to learn German further. End of this video, we will learn the followings, pronunciation of diphthongs, umlaut, ich und achlaut, special character that German language has, German culture, greetings, how to start a small informal and formal conversation, and German grammar rules. So I request you all to watch this video till the end and if you have any questions or doubts, please write me in comment section below. After completing every two videos of each level, I will come live on my YouTube channel, The School of German Language, to answer your questions that you have related to German grammar, culture and so. Let's start the level A1 with German culture and greetings. After that, we'll start the pronunciation part as it plays a vital role in communication. Now let's talk about German culture, greetings and formal and informal conversation. The formal conversation is used with unfamiliar adults in business situation with officials or office colleague and when we go for shop. The family name is very important in German for formal conversation. Informal conversation take place within the family and amongst friends. Unlike English, German has formal and informal words. In English, we have the only word when we talk to second person and that is you. is used for singular and plural both. But German has three words for second person and these are Z, Du and Ear. Where Z is used for formal, singular and plural both. Do is used for only singular, informal, and ear is used for plural, informal. Now, let's take an example of each word. So, first we'll talk about Z. So, if we are talking to a second person, singular or plural, formal, that can be unfamiliar adults or officials, and we want to know his name. And generally we ask, Wie heißen Sie? What is your name? Now take an example of Du. So if we are talking to second person singular, informal, that can be obviously your family member or friend. And we want to know his name. Then we generally ask, Wie heißt Du? What is your name? Now take an example of ear. If we are talking to a second person, informal, plural, that can be family members or friends, and we want to know their names, then we ask, we heist here, what is your name? Now let's talk about how German greets each other. So they greet by saying generally, hello. This is used in casual and formal both. But the standard way to greet formal person is Guten Morgen, Guten Tag, and Guten Abend. Where Guten Morgen means good morning, that can be used between 5 am to 11 am. Guten Tag means good day, that can be used between 11 am to 18 pm. And Guten Abend means good evening, that can be used between 18 pm to 22 p.m. After that, they start their conversation. Now, let's talk about formal and informal conversation. Informal conversation or situation, men are addressed as Herr followed by their last name and women as Frau followed by their last name. Here in this small conversation, has taken part, Lasya Yadav and Akhilesh Kumar. 
here Lasya is the first name and Yadav is the surname. First name is called in German Fornama and the surname is called Nachnama or Familian Nama. So let's see how this conversation goes. Guten Morgen, Herr Kumar. Wie geht es Ihnen? Guten Morgen, Frau Yadav. Danke Ihnen. Mir geht es gut. Und Ihnen? Wie geht es Ihnen? Danke Ihnen. Es geht mir auch gut. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. So here, as we have seen, that Lasya has used hair plus surname of Akhilesh and ask Guten Morgen, Herr Kumar. Wie geht es Ihnen? Good morning, Mr. Kumar. How are you? In reply to last year's question, Achilles says, Guten Morgen, Frau Yadav. Danke Ihnen. Mir geht es gut. Und Ihnen? Wie geht es Ihnen? Good morning, Mrs. Yadav. Thank you so much for asking. I am fine. And you? How are you? In reply, last year says, Danke Ihnen. Es geht mir auch gut. Thank you. I am good too. And after that, they say each other, See you. Auf Wiedersehen. Now, let's talk about informal conversation. Again, there are two persons, Lasya and Achilles. Now, say, what is the difference you find between formal and informal conversation? So, Lasya says, Hello, Achilles. We get is dear. Achilles replies, Danke, good. Und dir, wie geht es dir? The last year says, Danke, mir geht es auch gut. Tschüss, max gut, bis bald. So last year says, Hello, Achilles. Here she is not using surname and here because it's informal conversation and saying, Hello, Achilles, wie geht es dir? Hello, Achilles, how are you? In reply, Achilles says, Thank you, good. And you? How are you? And Lasya says, Thank you. Danke. Mia get is all good. I am good too. And after that, they say, Tschüss. Bye. Max good. Take care. Bis bald. See you soon. Now, let's have a look at the following question answer with WS questions. WS questions in German called Wefrage. If you collect all the answer given by Mr. Kumar in this question answer, it will be a small introduction. So let's start with the question answer. So Lasya will have all the questions and see how Achilles replies all these questions. Guten Tag. We heißen Sie. We heißen Sie can also be asked as We is Tianama. Both has the same meaning. What is your name? Let's see how Achilles reply. Guten Tag. Ich heiße Achilles Kumar. This can also be answered as My name is Achilles Kumar. Both has the same meaning. That is, my name is Achilles Kumar. Last year's second question is Woher kommen Sie her Kumar? Where do you come from Mr. Kumar? Answer Ich komme aus Indian. I come from India. The next question from last year is Was sind Sie von Beruf? This question can also be asked as Was machen Sie beruflich? What do you do by profession? Or what is your profession? The answer can be Ich bin der Lehrer or Ich bin der Lehrer von Beruf. I am a teacher or I am a teacher by profession. Last year next question is Will Sie Sprache sprechen Sie? Which language do you speak? The answer is Spreche Deutsch, English, Französisch und Hindi. I speak German, English, French and Hindi. The next question from last year is Was sind Ihre Hobbies? This question can also be asked like Will Sie Hobbies haben Sie? What hobbies do you have? The answer will be my hobbies sind cricket spielen und music hören. My hobbies are playing cricket, 
and listening to music. Then Lassia says, Exploit mich, the canon to learn. Auf Wiedersehen. Lassia said, It's nice to meet, meet you, Akhilesh. See you. So we will discuss more about the WS question, Wave Raga, in the next video. So here, our aim is not to discuss nouns or conjugation of verb or subject, just to give a glance about the Wave Raga, WS questions. There are some rules which we need to remember, like Nouns are always written as capital letter wherever these come in the sentence, whether it comes in the beginning, the middle, or at the end of the sentence, it will be written as capital letter. And the second rule is verbs are always placed at second position in the sentence. There are few exceptions where verbs position get changed. That we will discuss in the later part of this level. Uh, or A1. So now we have reached the important section of this video where we learn how German letters are pronounced in word or alone. So one of the most important skill one should have is communication skills. When we talk about communication, pronunciation plays an important role. So German alphabet also has 26 letters as we have in English, but many of German alphabet letters are pronounced differently. Apart from this German alphabet contains a special character and umlaut that we will be discussing in this video. Now we will discuss some of the German letters and their pronunciation. The letter H. A single letter in German, it is pronounced as H. But when it comes after any vowel, the vowel will have a long sound and H will be silent. For example, Stuhl, Stehen, or Stehlung. So if you see in every word, H is silent and the vowel comes before H has a long sound. Stuhl, Stehen or Stehlung. Now see how Y pronounced. A single letter in German Y pronounced as Y, but when it comes at the beginning or at the end of a word, it has the same sound as in English. So for example, Yara, Handi, Party. See, it has the same pronunciation as we have in English. But when it comes in the middle of a word, it has U A sound, combination of U and E sound. So for example, tup, tup, now let's see how these following letters are pronounced. The letter G. A single letter in German, it has G sound. But when it comes in middle or at the beginning of a word, it has same sound as in English. For example, Guitar, English, bringen. When it comes at the end of word, it has ka sound or k sound. Ka in German, k in English. So it will have k sound. For example, tak, creek. Now let's see how. J letter pronounced. A single letter in German it has Jot sound. But when it comes in words it has the Y sound as we have in English. For example, Jahr, Jung. 
Now let's see how S is pronounced. S as single letter in German, it has C sound. It will pronounce like C. But when it comes at the beginning or in the middle of word, it is pronounced like Z. Example, zipper in English and Zen, Reisen, Zone. These are the German words which has Z sound. When it comes, the particular letter S, when it comes at the end of R, it comes with double S, it has the same S sound as we have in English. So for example, Gleis or Wissen. The very first letter on this page is pronounced like S set when it comes as single letter. This is called the special letter in German because this comes always in the middle or at the end of the word. It never comes at the beginning of any word. So it has the same pronunciation like S in English. Let's see example. Strasse, Heisen, Bison. Now let's talk about V. A single letter in German it is pronounced like V, but when it comes in word, it sounds as F. For example, Vogel, Peel, Vater. Now we'll talk about the letter C. A single letter in German, it has C sound, and when with when it comes with word, it has the same sound as in English, but when it comes with consonant or open vowels, now what is open vowels? The vowels that come out from back of your mouth. These are open vowels. So when the letter comes with consonant or open vowels, it has K sound. For example, Don, Currywurst. But when it comes at the beginning of word followed by front vowel, it will give th sound. For example, circa, cent. The letter X in German has X sound. But when it comes in word, it will pronounce like same as it pronounced in English. For example, taxi. Flex. Letter Z. A single letter in German, it has Z sound. And when it comes in word, it is pronounced as similar like Z. For example, Zimmer, Zug, Salz. Now we'll talk about ST and SP. When these letters comes at the beginning of word these have sh sound for example spät spielen student stimme when this comes in the middle or at the end of a word it has same sound as in english dinst erst now Let's talk about umlaut. Umlaut is nothing but two dots over these three German vowels A, O and U. Generally, these letters in German are pronounced as A, O and U. For example, A, Pater, Wasser, Arbeit, O, O, Zone, Rose, U, Umlaut, Bedeutung. But when the Umlaut come over vowels, their pronunciation get changed as 
a umlaut is pronounced like a so for example feta effel there is no such equivalent for o umlaut and u umlaut in english so o umlaut can also be written like o plus a and u umlaut can also be written like u plus a the combination of o u u a and o a so for example o umlaut hören öffnen schön for example of u umlaut tür über uben uben to pronounce o umlaut put your tongue under your upper teeth and pronounced o e together it will give the same sound like hu hu hören to pronounce o umlaut put your tongue between your upper and lower teeth and try to pronounce it from your throat without pushing air out of your mouth like u u tu yub yuben now let's talk about diphthong diphthong is the combination of two vowels pronounced as one and these are a e a e a u a umlaut u a u and e a so a e and a e pronounce same as i for example my kaiser liest light the letter a u or a umlaut u are pronounced like o e for example froind noi oish hoise roib the letter a u pronounced like au for example house mouse auch the combination of vowel e a pronounced as english a for example bia ni z now let's discuss ish und akhlaut if the combination of vowels are later like german a a umlaut a umlaut u e a e e a o umlaut or u umlaut come before ch it will be pronounced like ish ish soft ish for example echt fesche boish gleich riechen koische büsche so these are called ish laut if the if the following letters come before ch like a o u and a o it will be pronounced as ach for example acht doch buch och and these are called akhlaut